Yes. Yay. With the food. <laughs> Got some for you. Just want to give you some love. Show you flowers on that good stuff. Thank you. What's up, everybody? I'm your man, Chris Gunther. I want to first of all say thank you for all the love and support that you've shown me on the Chris Gunther show, on anything else I've done. I sincerely appreciate it. We live in a very crazy time where a lot of people say they rock with you, but they don't really show it. And I've just reached a point in my young career where I want to go throughout the city or maybe even travel the country and just give people their flowers. So my first guest, we've all seen her pictures, we've all seen her out in the community, one of the most kind people that you'll ever meet. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Jessica Morales from Vieira's Vision. One of the coolest parts about doing the Chris Gunther show is I meet a lot of amazing people. Yes. And I don't work with a lot of people. So the fact that I, you know, I'm this sitting down true. with this Jess true. again is always fun. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great as always, as always. You it's know? always good to see you too. Thank you. Always good vibes. And, and I think one of the best parts about our relationship is, you know, we've seen a lot of growth in yes, each other, we have. both in our business and both in our personal life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I always got to give a huge shout out to Vieira's Vision because y'all yeah. have hooked me up a lot. Vieira's Vision. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, you man. You too, you too. Let's go ahead and chop it up. You know, I, I think one of the last times we've seen each other. Uh, I know it was, I think you had some kind of function here mm -hmm. and brought all of your family out here. Like, y'all know My how to hook everything up. You're that right. was the anniversary of Vieira's Vision. Four years this past April. Goes by fast, doesn't it? It does. Mm -hmm. Four years ago when I walked in here, all of that stuff over there was actually not even here yet. That is and true. And that mm -hmm. wall wasn't necessarily naked, but it didn't have as many pictures on it. You've no. grown mm -hmm. so much. What does it take to continue to grow? Uh, it takes nonstop belief in yourself um, when things aren't going accordingly or, you know, you got roadblocks in the way. Um, it's just never believing and always coming up with new concepts and new ideas and just, you know, rolling with the roller coaster that um, you're on because it is a journey. Mm -hmm. It is. We've both seen it. We mm -hmm. both encountered the good and the bad. We all know yes. with everything good, there does come some bad. Mm -hmm. It seems like in this area, for whatever the reason mm -hmm. is, the bad overshadows the good. How do you try to stay away from it? Um, a lot of times it is lonely. <laughs> I can say sometimes it can be lonely, but honestly, I'm so busy with so many things that I want to come into fruition that um, those moments of being alone, I just try to be really productive. I have um, a busy schedule, a lot of things going on. I have three kids as well, three teenagers, I wouldn't say children or kids anymore, but um, we have a lot going on. So in those moments, I just try to stay organized and like try to like, you know, implement certain things that I want to accomplish um, and really just like keep pushing. Mm -hmm. You've pushed through a lot. Mm -hmm. We both have. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest things I've seen you push through recently is, you know, trying to find that balance between mm -hmm. still being a parent but also doing your dreams full yes. time. And mm -hmm. that's not an easy thing to do. It's How did you balance it? not an easy thing at all. Well, um, having the right people around me, uh, having like-minded individuals that understand that when you're busy, it's not because you're avoiding them or it's not because mm. you're being negative or anything like that, but because you really do have goals that you want to accomplish and those goals in your family do come first. So there's times where I've had to put the photography aside and put my children first. There's times where I have to put my business first, but it's knowing the balance and understanding yourself and what it is that you're trying to achieve. I think that is the most important thing is knowing oneself. And that means that anybody else's opinion really doesn't doesn't matter so you know yes we do things and you and I are creators so we're online a lot and we're pushing our craft and you know but I think it could be overseen that we do have I have children I'm sure you have you have your wife you have a new marriage so it's really <laughs> yeah. you know moving new moving in together and oh yes yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure you know there's things that you've had a balance and 
really learn that, you know, sometimes your wife is the priority or sometimes your relationship has to come first. And I mean, you know, sometimes yeah. Chris has to come first. you know, so it's just things that you have to learn how to balance. For me, I've learned to do that by having supportive people around me. And that doesn't necessarily mean family all the time, doesn't necessarily mean friends, but it means like minded individuals. So luckily, um, I am blessed with people that I've been able to encounter, like Kim Moore, I've been able to encounter her. She is a life coach, she is a yoga instructor, and her and I have a project that we're doing called Mental Fitness Collective. Um, that The reason behind that is because of the importance of balance, because I've learned in the last four years how important balance really is. So because of that, I've had people like Kim come in my life and, and learn it. Just like with everything, I've had to, teach myself or try to learn you know it comes the same thing with business so you have to learn how to balance business life your kids and everything else so when it comes down to business owners mm -hmm. in this area you know i was reading this article actually it wasn't in, in it wasn't an article okay. it was something that i think popped up on my facebook timeline a little while ago and it was talking about how business owners usually don't make it past five years Woo. And I can't say that it's not true, mm -hmm. but then again, I can't say that it is true either. You have to kind of know what works best for you. Yes. And I'll go ahead and put this out here. I've publicly said it more than once. When it comes to, you know, photography in this area, to me, there's only one name that is above every other name. And that is Jessica Morales. Thank you. You know, let's let's go ahead. We got to call a spade a spade here. You have your own studio. Mm -hmm. Some people around here don't have that. Mm -hmm. You have so many props. A yes. lot of people don't have that. Mm -hmm. You know, you became so great. People tried to steal your ideas yes. and run with them. Yes, you correct. <laughs> How are you able to just look at that and say, wow? Well, because I think, we're all human at the you end know, of the day. It comes with being a trendsetter. You know, it comes with being totally passionate and in love with what you do and i think we make it look fun and we make it look easy and you know people they gravitate towards that so to me honestly it's a compliment um but at the same time you got to give credit where it's due you got to recognize real you know you got to recognize 100%. the fact that the work was put there and i don't stop at just photography i am a creator so i am someone of many things so I don't really look at it as, you know, a negative thing um, as long as uh, they don't take it as I am trying to compete. Because the last thing that I'm trying to do is compete. I'm trying to create. I'm trying to collaborate and honestly just have fun with what I do. I, I do this because I love it, not because I, you know, I want to be negative with what I do or have a negative impact on our community with it at all. I want to really encourage people to create. But I think that you have to understand that this is more than just fun. This is um, something that I really put my blood, sweat and tears into as well as yourself. You know, so it's not like you just do one thing. You you know, you're a man of many things as well. Oh, so, yes. So you've created so much with Chris Gunther and the brand of Chris Gunther and just the people that you've been able to encounter and outside of Youngstown. I'm grateful you know? for so, that. So, yeah. So I, I see your growth as well. And I see the people that you've been able to reach and touch and inspire um so you know when you started i believe like you were really the only one that had a i was <laughs> that really had a podcast show you know so now there's many people that are trying to you know implement the idea but that doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to be successful with it you know unless they're willing to put all their blood sweat and tears into it, it takes a lot of work it does it takes a lot of work mm -hmm. a lot of time a lot of dedication a lot of sacrifice but there is there there's two things that mm -hmm. we have that I know a lot of people in this area don't have. The first is consistency. Yes. And the second is professionalism. Yes. Mm -hmm. Two of the biggest things that you mm -hmm. got to have in anything are yeah. those two, because you'll have people like us. They'll do a sit down and then all of a sudden you don't see them again for another six to eight months. And you like, but you was just promoting all of this, but now right. all of a sudden you withered off. Right. That's why I gotta give you your flowers, cause this stuff is oh, not, it's not easy. You. It's not easy at all. If I could be very honest mm -hmm. with you though, earlier you had mentioned mm -hmm. collaboration. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel a lot of people around here just won't collaborate? Cause they think it's competition. They think like that you have to so be, weird. you, you know, you, and it's also ego. You know, I look at it and I look at people that it's just ego and pride. And trust me, like. 
I love to be in the center of things because I'm a photographer. So I'm yeah. helping you guys create. <laughs> I'm helping you have that image that you want your business to represent or whatnot. But it's also having an understanding that business comes first, you know. And sometimes when people, they look at that, they think, well, I want to be the best at what I do. And, and that's great, great. Like, but I didn't aim to be the best at what I do. Honestly, I aimed that I wanted to be good at what I do and I wanted to always be in love with what I do. So for me, it's about being passionate. It's more, it's not, you know, holding each other against one another, but it's like, how can we come together? How can we create something bigger than just yourself? You know, some companies, they, they do, they merge together because they see success in that. I see success in the fact that you and I, we might, might do different things, mm -hmm. but why can't we come together to do something great? You know, just like we're doing right now. So we've, we've collaborated on a lot. Yes. And there's no way I can have you here because let's they the, the cameras and public don't know about the conversations we've had behind closed yeah, doors. Correct. Because mm -hmm. we value each other not only as friends but as people. Mm -hmm. You know, some stuff you don't hit on because that's very sacred. That's very private. I'll share this one though because I've I've talked about it a couple times. I remember when Chanel and I were doing our engagement pictures yes. and. We had a nice amount of people reach out to try mm -hmm. to say, you know, let's work this out. Let's I, like we can do this photo shoot. But I was like, there's something about Jessica, mm -hmm. and Thank you. I'll never forget when we did them because you also got to keep this in the back of your mind. At that time, Vieira's vision, in a sense, was still on the come up, mm -hmm. and a lot of people didn't necessarily know who Vieira's vision was yet. Correct. And I just never forget it when mm -hmm. you called me in. You called me and Chanel in, and we looked at our pictures. And all of them came out great. Even yeah. the ones that we didn't post came mm -hmm. out great. And, you know, obviously you guys never <laughs> see that. But I just remember looking, and as God is my witness, I told you, once these mugs get out, mm -hmm. you're going to be booked nonstop. That was three years ago. Mm -hmm. As God is my witness, you've been booked nonstop. Yes, I have been. And yeah. I feel like I got to tell you thank you because oh, of what you created. Yes. Not just for me, but for so many other people. Yeah, well, I really fall in love with the moment. Yes, you do. You know, so I really love to take, take ownership of coming up with a total vision of your session. So it's not like I'm just coming out and I'm just taking some images and asking you to pose. I'm really falling in love with what I'm capturing. So when I'm doing that, it's just like natural, you know, if you love what you do and the person behind the camera can really tell that you love what you do, that energy is going to rub off on them, you know, and then they, they become comfortable. And then you really do get some great images when you allow the couple or the person to be comfortable with themselves. And sometimes they might need a little coaching or they might need a little encouragement, you know, and that's what I'm here for. So I'm glad you love your photos. I'm glad you still love your photos. Three I know years later. I just posted them, I believe, not so long ago. I repost them because I do. I, I definitely love your session. I'll be honest. I was trying to get it to 1K. <laughs> I think I feel like 50 short. Yes. I was like, dang No, it. no, no. It was at 999. It was an oh, when oh, I man. just shared it. Oh, so I you're like I one was, off. So dang it. hey, go to his page, <laughs> find his engagement session, and give him that one like so we can get Chris to 1K on that. I was that trying to get session. you to 1K. I, I, I mean, I ain't trying to say this funny. I have yes. several, mm -hmm. and I'm like, that's that, that that's cool, but yes. I want to see my friend succeed. Yes, exactly. Nope. And that's what it's about too. Yeah. It's like knowing, like, hey, I see this person, I see their hard work, acknowledging it, and then seeing how you can make an impact on that. If you have two like-minded people that are both driven, that are both accountable for what they want to do with their dream, that's when I say collaborate. I'm not saying collaborate with just anyone. That's right. But I'm saying if you see someone that they show up, they show out every single time, come together to make something wonderful out of it. There's three people in this area mm -hmm. that I have consistently collaborated with who I love dearly. Yourself, Michael Cotton. Yes. The GOAT. The yes. GOAT. All hail the GOAT. <laughs> I know he's going to get me for that, yes. but I don't care. You, I mean, those gold shoes. I mean, you know, <laughs> that was Mike's I, I, idea. All right, I got to put this quick yes. story out. I was trying to figure out uh -huh. what can I do that is 100% different yes. from what I've done. And Michael goes, bro, bro, yes, I've got you. Yes. Watch this. Watch this. And Michael 
brings me something and I'm like, let's do it. Mm -hmm. I've never done it. Be and as God is my witness, mm -hmm. it came out great because people had never seen me wear that on that kind yes. of. You know, well, we gotta get you before. back because I got this, <laughs> I got this gold throne. That you, I know you used this one before yeah, for your the, birthday session, you right? Sure, you sure did. Yes, but them gold shoes would go so hard with this gold throne. I feel I'm like we saying. could talk a little bit about that later. <laughs> but like I said, it's yes. three people in this area I've consistently collaborated with. Mm -hmm. You, Michael Cotton. Yes. And my brother Terrell Vidal. Yes. The reason why is because all three of you are extremely yes. They're special. They're amazing too, yes. And it's yeah. amazing because you see that with all of the craziness that goes on mm -hmm. in, in this area, we have people that ask that will ask you for yes. advice, but then they'll go out and try yeah, and I mean, you gotta take have that, your stuff and it's that weird. Go getter mentality, you know. And that doesn't mean you have to take someone else's idea to get there. Not at there. all. What's for you is for you. Yes, exactly. So that's how I look at it. What's for me is for me. I'm not worried about necessarily what the next person is doing because, I mean, I've traveled a lot. So, you know, when I go other places outside of Youngstown, um, and Youngstown is a great place. This is home, my heart, you know. But when I go outside of here, I see it could be you know, a nail salon and a nail salon. It's just what, where do you stand out at? What are you doing different with your craft? You know, and that's really where I have to keep my mindset at is like, it's not about competition, it's about creating. So, you know, hey, go at, go get it. If you get it, <laughs> go get it. If it's for you, it's for you. If I inspire you to be a photographer, hey, I'm so happy. I inspire you to create. Let's keep on creating. That's what life is about. It is, and I just feel like, you know, whenever you need a moment captured, mm -hmm. you got to put Vieira's vision behind yes. it. Yes. And I just felt like it was time to start giving people their flowers, and that's why I'm doing this. You know, I give people their flowers it. while they can smell them, mm -hmm. while they can appreciate them. Yes. And this is one of the dopest times that we've had mm -hmm. because of all of the stuff that you've done. Let's go ahead and jet, but you know I got to ask you this yes. before we get out of here. You know you got to get the people you're contacting yes. for, right? So... Vieira's Vision Photography.com. Okay, we got a website up you now. You didn't have that four yes, years ago. That's not. another thing. We yes. got to salute you to yeah. that. So definitely check out my website. My portfolio's on there. I'm going to try to keep it updated for you guys. Um, also, you can find me on TikTok. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. It is Vieira's Vision. Okay, at Vieira's Vision. I think that's a cool way to stop. Yes. I've appreciate I've appreciated you always opening up Vieira's vision. I'm gonna share this again. I'll never forget when I was filming a Chris Gunther's The City, which COVID messed all of that up because I still can't even get it back. <laughs> but I remember when we were able to do that in the last few episodes. Yeah. I needed a place because yes. I was trying to figure out where I film at. And you were the one that said, just bring it here. Mm -hmm. And all you asked was make sure that I shout the business out, which I'm glad I have. Yes. You know, we, we live in a time where a lot of people say they rock with mm -hmm. you. People say it, but it's another thing to actually do it from the bottom yeah, of my heart. Thank you. I appreciate thank you. Thank you so much. You know, this is a creative space, so let's get creating.